Hey, good morning and happy holidays from 39 Below. Check us out at 39-below.com. Coming at you today here with a uh, video. Um, it was a viewer question and um, the, what the question was, was um, he said he's having a problem um, buying new inventory because he's running low on funds and can't sell the original items that he has in his store. So uh, bounce back a couple of questions to him and <clears throat> what he's looking at, he's trying to make 200% profit on his items. So he's running it for five after fees and five five dollars just say after fees and shipping and uh, all the costs uh, that are built in he's looking to make uh, ten so he's trying to make about 200 percent profit on on each on each item and uh, you know his pricing's okay his stores great pictures are wonderful descriptions are right on point he's doing the um, trifecta for for success he's He's got his four P's all in place there, and uh, he's doing well. Um, been coaching him for about a, about a month now, but the issue is, you know, he has inventory sitting, and uh, at this time of year, you got a lot of people that are on eBay and on and on Amazon selling, a ton of people selling because uh, they're trying to make some extra money. Uh, it's going to start slowing up here shortly, so you'll start noticing the saturation of the market is definitely going to start to uh, dwindle down. So with that, after you know, after I expressed that to him, he understands that whole theory. And um, the next point is also people who are buying on eBay. Hold on one second. We're getting a little bit bright here. The people who are buying on eBay are, you know, the, a lot of them buy for themselves. A lot of people don't like to give away a present that's used. I mean, some people will, obviously. So if, if you're not selling new with tags or, you know, um, new without tags or anything, close to that a lot of times they're not going to be they're not going to buy your product as gifts uh, you know unless it's a close spouse or, or a family member who doesn't care or a younger child or something to that effect but most of the items you know if you're dealing with clothing um, if it's not new attack people really don't want to buy them and gift that away because it looks a little bit cheesy so anyway <clears throat> looking at his stuff and um, what I what I would say to you was and you know what I told him was blow out a a markdown just get the stuff out because if that inventory is sitting think about this if you bought that item for five bucks you're looking to make ten on that and that's sitting for sixty days that opportunity cost is out the door okay all the cost that it that it has that you put into that to you know to list that to pick that item to prepare the item to get it up and get that item rolling and it's only just sitting there that's money that's just, that money is just it's ultimately dead you could be using that towards buying some other items getting some quality items that are in season that are in demand by our current buyers and um, you can get those products you know up and posted um, but you're you know you're sitting there with dead money so what I told him to do was just blast out the stuff you know he still wants to make this 200% profit I said just make break even at this point break even maybe make a couple of bucks dollar or two per item he has like a thousand items sitting in the store blast it out pocket your grand or two take that money take a little bit of profit for yourself Pay yourself, and then just go and buy inventory, quality inventory, and just refresh. Sometimes you got to reassess, and you got to just refresh things. A lot of people will sit and say, "Man, I just can't do it." They'll go from auction to buy it down from three day to five day to seven day. They'll throw it on Amazon. They'll throw it here. They'll try to sell it there. They'll they'll work every angle that they can. And in and in reality, sometimes it's just good to just blow out your inventory, just get your prices down, get it cleansed out, and restock up with better quality items look at you know and then you can start you can glance at, you know again at your store you can glance again at how your pictures are taken and you can really start to assess things and try to work that so anyway I want to share that with you that was you know a question I know I did a video on that a while back again about that sometimes you gotta just turn over your inventory and get that stuff out because opportunity costs and plus inflation you know as I always say a dollar at January 1 you know is worth a dollar three come come the end of the year three percent uh, three three percent inflation so um, sometimes, you know, that money sitting is equivalent to sitting in a checking account with 0% on that money just sitting there as inventory. So, all right, hope this video helps. Check us out at www.39-below.com. And also, uh, on that site there, check out our book. I just got the book released. Um, geez, we're going on maybe three or four days. I appreciate the buys. Um, we got it uh, as an ebook on sale right now for $3.99. Uh, you can't beat it. It's a... Um, it's basically a, a book to get you thinking outside of the box as an eBay seller, uh, and it could be it could be applied across the board to Amazon, Etsy, your online marketplaces, your websites, and, and such. So, check it out. Uh, the link is on our website. All right, take care, and I'll see you on the flip side.